Welcome to Babel's Park, an autobiographical dystopia of a brainless cyber whore. You're listening to Chapter 6, Anal, Oral, Digital. Be right back, Baby Lawn announced and disappeared into the bathroom. David opened the champagne, filled the glasses and sat back on the bed. Hanging on the walls were large screens that showed by voice command just about everything his touchless smart wristwatch allowed. He enjoyed a screening of works by famous painters of the past few centuries, shown in Fast Forward. When this high-speed museum arrived at Magritte and the master's works appeared on the high-resolution display, David stopped the intro scan at the painting with the pipe. Do you have a normal metabolism? Come and look for yourself. David chose some appropriate music, picked up the glasses and accepted her invitation. Baby Lon stood naked in front of the mirror, one foot placed on the edge of the tub, and put something inside herself. He handed her a glass. Are you on your period? No, this is a kind of energy suppository to prepare this part of the body for a kind of sustainable tourism. Cheers! So you're some kind of slot machine? No, I have inner values, my boss says. Cheers, baby, David said with a smile. She emptied the glass in one gulp, which left David hoping for more. So you're allowed to drink alcohol? Is that compatible with your body? My contacts are cleaned with alcohol, which is like an oil change. But I am programmed that the stuff additionally has a similar effect as on humans. Keep the customer satisfied, very professional. Exactly. If I'm well lubricated, the customers are satisfied. That is a naive fallacy. Says your boss. David guessed and realized another error in her program. Says my chip. Baby Lon held out her glass to him. More, please. Are you done here? They left the bathroom and David refilled their glasses. Down the hatch. Cheers. She gobbled it down again and asked for more, opening his pants during the refill. What a space-saving airbag. But does not need a crash. David was pleased with the programming performance of her boss. Baby Lon didn't miss anything, not even extreme contortions that can only be done spinelessly. She looked a little confused, though. How are you? You were the best of the best of the best. David wasn't sure if this was some kind of variation on Gertrude Stein's famous quote a rose is a rose is a rose or if she had another speech impediment. He pushed his doubts aside and asked. Thank you, do you rate all your lovers? You have to sort the cheat from the waff. Baby Lon explained, proving the latter. Any program that runs without errors is obsolete. David offered for consideration. Exactly. But collecting your data was successful. Baby Lon said with a smile, zipped up her overalls, and disappeared through the door. Exhausted, Ooh. David dropped onto the divan. Beam into my eyes. Victoria said to Baby Lon to receive David's data through a pulsing laser beam for further processing. Baby Lon looked like a frightened deer blinded by the full beam of an approaching car while Victoria coolly scanned zeros and ones to learn more about David's character than he will ever know. You listen to the sixth chapter of Babel's Park. In the next chapter, Cash Trophy, Annette visits a game show in which castaways meet Cornucopia. Listen to the ad-free version on Apple Podcasts now. To learn more about Babel's Park, visit Dr. Kalasana's website fuckup.coach. And to let us know what you think of this series, we look forward to your review on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you.